hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video I'm gonna show you a basic cloud elimination method for a Landsat 8 imagery using Google Earth Engine so we're gonna use this uh, codes to utilize uh, to perform a simple cloud masking on Landsat 8 images and visualize the result so now here you can able to visualize this is the Landsat 8 image so you can able to observe a lot of cloud that uh, is uh, a lot of cloud contamination being observed in this image so we're gonna basically run this uh, cloud masking to remove these clouds now let me show you the result here so now this is our result after removing the cloud so now let me explain about this code here so now to remove the cloud contamination first we have to define our region of interest so here we define a region of interest based on our longitude and latitude so you can able to observe here I defined a variable called ROI that is a region of interest equals to double dot geometry dot point so we have specified our longitude and latitude coordinates and next uh, we're gonna load a balance at 8 imagery so using this specific uh, code here so variable LA draw equals to double dot image collection landsat LC8 represents landsat 8 collection 2 tire 1 so we're gonna load our raw image of Landsat 8 image using the specific code to uh, load our Landsat 8 image in Earth Engine. So next, we're gonna filter the raw Landsat 8 image in the defined region of interest that is our study area and with a specific timeline. So for that, we defined a variable called cloudy image equals to L8 raw dot filter bound ROI represents our region of interest and dot filter date. So we're gonna specify the specific uh, time frame here so we're going to uh, mention 2020 January 1 to 2020 December December 1 so next we're going to generate a cloud free uh, composite image using Landsat 8 simple composite uh, algorithm so for that we defined a variable called cloud free equals to double e dot algorithms dot Landsat dot simple composite and next uh, we're going to define collection is cloudy image and as float is true and next we're going to define a visualization parameter for our lens 8 image so for that we define a variable called cloud free visualization so this here represents visualization so cloud variable called cloud free vis equals to we set a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 0 0.5 and we're going to specify the bands of band 4 band 3 and band 2 and this specific uh, visualization uh, visualization parameter is flow is it is for the cloud free composite image and next we're going to define a visualization parameter for our the raw cloudy Landsat 8 image so for that we define raw a variable called cloudy vis represents visualization parameter equals to with a minimum of 0 and to a maximum of 30,000 and we're going to use the bands band 4 band 3 and band 2 so next to add this layer we define map dot center object ROI so the ROI here represents our region of interest that is that is uh, this specific uh, longitude and latitude of the study area and we set a zoom level of 7 so next to add the layer that is our cloud free image uh, to add a cloud free image we define map dot add layer cloud free so it refers to this specific variable cloud free and the cloud free vis refers to our cloud free visualization parameter defined here with the output uh, layer name as cloud free so next to add our cloudy image to compare the result between the cloudy image versus the the cloud free image we're gonna add this cloudy image so for that we define map dot add layer cloudy image so we're gonna uh, uh, visualize this so the cloudy vis represents this specific variable the variable called cloudy visualization with the output the layer name as cloudy image so this code essentially loads all our Lancer 8 image and filters them based on the location and date and it creates a cloud free composite image and uh, we visualize both cloud free composite and the original cloudy image on the map so now we're gonna uh, run this code uh, we can click this option called run script and now let us visualize our result here so now uh, we can able to visualize there is uh, in the layer section we have two different layers one layer here represents our cloudy image and the second layer represents the cloud free image so we're going to visualize we're going to zoom to this specific area here and we're going to take a look at the specific layer so now here you can uh, 
able to see uh, the Landsat 8 image. So this is the cloud free image and followed by we are going to load over the cloud contaminated uh, image here. So you can able to see that this is the cloud uh, contaminated image and this is uh, once we have performed our uh, simple cloud mosaicing. So we have removed our uh, cloudy image. So the final result will be this is our final result. Once you performed our cloud free uh, that is our cloud uh, masking. So this is our result. This is the cloudy image. So this is our raw Lancet 8 image. So now uh, in this video I have shown you how to remove the basic uh, the cloud contamination in Lancet 8 image. So basic uh, cloud contamination method for uh, for Lancet 8 imagery in uh, Google Earth Engine. So we have shown how to remove the cloud contamination in Lancet 8 image. And the code will be given in the description. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.